So good morning to all. My name is George Miguel Bravo, and we are here to present a, a paper titled Life Table Forecasting in COVID Times, an Ensemble Learning Approach. This is a joint paper with Afshin, which is also here in the, in the session. So forecasts of age-specific mortality rates, they are a critical input in multiple research and policy areas, including assessing the overall health, well-being, and human development of a given population, for instance, by computing life expectancy markers, on the pricing and risk management of life insurance contracts, for instance, um, life annuities, on the pricing of longevity-linked securities and derivatives, for instance, longevity bonds, longevity swaps. This is an area in which we have been working on. And more recently, on public pension design and policy, uh, for instance, by automatically indexing the retirement age to life expectancy. So the point here is that there is no general method that can be used to forecast mortality rates to all populations uh, that always works fine in every circumstance. And because of that, uh, we have now two competing methodologies to do so. One of them is to do model selection, um, picking a group of models and trying to select the best one based on the fitting or the forecasting accuracy. The second approach is to use model combination, that is to say, combine more than one model um, in a, a single forecast, combined forecast. So the traditional approach to age-specific mortality rate is to use a single, what is believed to be the best model that is selected from a group of candidates by using some criteria, for instance, the big criteria or cross-validation, often neglecting for the model risk, that is to say, the risk of picking up the wrong, uh, the wrong model. In the actuarial and financial and demographic literature, we have multiple single population and multi-population discrete time and continuous time stochastic mortality model that have been proposed. Uh, we ourselves have contributed to this literature. And uh, a recent strand of literature involves the use of uh, model combination, a model, Bayesian model ensemble of heterogeneous stochastic mortality models. Uh, for instance, uh, the paper in Bravo Air all is one example. Um, another point which is relevant to our paper is that uh, empirical evidence suggests that uh, groups of countries uh, tend to follow similar longevity trends, and, and we are going to try to uh, investigate this in this in this paper. So, what is the purpose of this paper? Is to investigate the use of uh, the Bayesian model ensemble learning of multiple um, age-specific mortality forecasting models, and to build life tables and to uh, price uh, life insurance contracts. The empirical strategy is as follows. We first use one member of the generalized age period cohort stochastic mortality model to fit uh, individual country, country data by sex. We then apply a clustering method for trying to group countries according to their similar longevity trends. Uh, afterwards, we forecast age specific and country specific mortality rates using the Bayesian model combination, using a combination of three different methods, a traditional ARIMA methods, a um, neural network approach using a multi-layer perceptron uh, uh, structure and a singular spectrum analysis model as the unlearning uh, algorithms. And finally, uh, we use the combination to forecast mortality rates to compute uh, life expectancy and life annuity, life annuity prices. This is the outline of the presentation and we are going to briefly resume the methodology in the next uh, steps. So generalized age period cohort stochastic mortality models, they are a general family of model that combine a structure which includes a random component, a linear predictor, a link function, and a set of parameter constraints. The general linear predictor is like this. So we have a set of uh, age specific uh, parameters, the alpha x and the beta x here. We have time trend uh, specific parameters, the kt here in the structure. And then we have cohort or year of birth effects as captured by the gamma coefficient here in the equation. For this paper, we use a specific uh, substructure of the generalized age period cohort family with the Lee and Carter method, which has this specific formulation. So a simple combination between age specific and uh, period effects. So it's an age period uh, effect. It has no cohort effects. The general structure is as follows. So an assumption regarding the number of deaths by age and year following a Poisson distribution the analytical linear predictor, and then a set of parameter constraints to ensure we have unique uh, um, parameter estimates. 
So we first uh, estimate uh, the model to all of the 14 countries considered in this country. So we have estimates of the alpha x, the beta x, and the kt coefficient. And then we are going to now use the cluster analysis on the time trend coefficient to isolate countries that uh, follow similar trends. And then we apply the Bayesian model ensemble combination to generate forecasts. The data sets uh, comprise data for 14 European countries. We have data from 1960 to 2018 uh, provided by the Human Mortality Database, to which we then add uh, more recent data concerning the COVID death uh, um, um, framework. So as for the clustering methods, we use the Kappa means clustering for time trend indices. So we use the, we use the dynamic time warping distance as a measure for clustering individual time series um, um, of the countries into similar groups. So the dynamic time warping is a technique to cluster the data points in an order sequence to measure the similarity between uh, the two time series uh, over time. So given uh, two time series, which in this country means two different countries, uh, we try to optimize by computing the square root of the sum of the square distances between the data points. Given this, we, once we have the countries grouped uh, according to similar longevity trends, we set up the Bayesian model ensemble framework. So we do a model combination. Model combination basically involves uh, generating forecasts for some quantity of interest by multiplying the individual model forecasts by its own posterior probabilities. So the posterior probabilities or the model weights, they are computed uh, using a backtesting approach uh, in which we leave 10 years as an holding period and we compute the out of sample forecasting accuracy using the symmetric mapper as a forecasting error uh, method. And as ensemble uh, algorithms, we use, as we said before, the classical ARIMA model, um, a neural network uh, uh, approach using the multi-layer perceptron and the single uh, spectrum analysis model. So this is a summary of the hyperparameter calibration of the three uh, learning algorithms. And once we generate uh, forecasts for the uh, age specific mortality rates, we are ready to compute the period uh, life expectancy and the life annuity price as follows using the classical forwards, where we use um, as a discount interest rate, a 1% discount interest rate for computing the life annuity prices. Okay, so we are now going to present a, a summary of the results and then the, of the conclusions. Thank you, George. And thanks everyone for selecting this session. My name is Afshin Ashofte and I'm grateful to present the rest of this research. So for the results part, uh, we have first the crude estimates of mortality rates in log scale for Portugal. It shows a normal increase in mortality rates with age. As we can see for selected ages, the mortality rates are declining from 1960 to 2018, but the mortality decline is not homogeneous across ages. For instance, please look at the age group 60, 70, and 80. Uh, we can see the highest longevity gains for these age groups. Also, we can see that declining trend is more at younger ages. The reason is clear, uh, improved economic, social and health conditions, changing lifestyles, development in medical treatments and medicines. If you are interested, uh, you can find also the Lee Carter parameter estimates for Portugal at the original paper. So for clustering, the next two slides are dendrograms of cluster analysis for females and males to show the similar time series of kappa for the countries analyzed in this study. As we know, COVID-19 shows more mortality for elderies and it could change the expected trajectory uh, for the evolution of the advanced ages mortality. In general terms, the rate of mortality is increasing and accelerating for a certain age, uh, for instance, 72 in the case of Portugal. 
So in the presence of COVID-19, we can see the estimations based on ARIMA do not respond effectively to the rapid changes of life annuity, uh, life expectancy, and probability of death. We can see the lower uh, root mean square error for the proposed ensemble model. That is good. It followed the death uh, caused by the pandemic effectively. It is robust enough to not bias the risk estimation by biased forecast of price annuities. And the comparison of root mean square errors of ensemble models and ARIMA models show that our ensemble approach is more accurate and robust than ARIMA approach. To sum up, we use the cluster analysis to identify common longevity trends among groups of countries. Then we applied an adaptive Bayesian model ensemble approach uh, to make a better uh, prospective life tables. What is the benefit? Uh, okay, first, better estimates of the price of a life annuity. The second one would be compute more accurate period life expectancy and also uh, more robust probability of death for all ages and years. And for further research, uh, we can fully assess the consequences of the pandemic on human survival, uh, also checking different measures for investigating the similarities between time series, uh, looking for alternative time series clustering techniques, and last but not least, exploring the potentials of uh, BME in combination with time series distance functions in pricing multi-population longevity linked securities. Thank you for your attention and participating in this session.